Hi guys, today I'm gonna to do a follow-up video to my recent uh, feathers stitching video. And we're gonna talk about how to make those plume shapes and a simple trick to help you learn to form that plume shape as you stitch. Then I'm gonna stitch it out again on the M7, the Janome M7. So let's get started. All right, so here on my drawing pad, I've got a nice line down the middle. And what I wanna talk about is in a lot of tutorials and books about making beautiful feathers, they talk about thinking of the feather plume as half a heart. So half a heart looks like that. You know, we make our hearts. And it's a great basic shape because we all kind of know what a heart looks like. And it also, it helps us get this little curve right here, which I didn't do here. So half a heart giving that extra little curve certainly makes a more uh, gentle and beautiful feather plume. However, we get this really wide section here to the base of our feather plume and that is not very graceful and it's not really what we want to look for. So my suggestion is instead of working on a half of a heart, also because you know when we draw a half a heart we're used to working from the top down, I want you instead of doing a half heart like that, um, I want you to think of a teardrop. And so a teardrop can be like this. It can be curved in one direction. It can be curved in the other direction. But that's what I want you to think of. So these are teardrops, so we're gonna put them on end. So then we've got a teardrop in the center, a teardrop going to the right, and a teardrop going to the left. And so not only does it get us drawing in the right orientation, it gets us this smaller point here as we join into the feather plume. So let me go ahead and do a few of those. So, and it's not that I'm drawing a full teardrop, but it helps me visualize what I am doing. If I was doing a full teardrop, I'd be coming all the way back in here. We don't wanna come all the way back in there. That's a big no-no. You won't ever travel up your spine if you bring it back all the time, but it's having that visual in your brain that brings you back into the plume right about here. And um, I think of it, you know, we talk about muscle memory in making feathers. I really think that while thinking of a teardrop, it helps you to make that shape better than thinking of half of a heart. Okay, and also in our minds, we know that teardrops start to roll down one's face. Hopefully nobody is having teardrops right at the moment, but we can think about them as getting elongated. Whereas with a heart, even if we start at the base, we don't really think of hearts kind of coming out and getting longer. And then we get this potato chip looking shape and we don't want that. So, um, the teardrop to me is just really the shape that we want to think of when we're doing feathers. And it doesn't matter what size. And thank God I can quilt better than I can draw. But I just want you to think of making those teardrops. Maybe just practicing them. Do them to the right. Do them to the left. And just think teardrop, I'm making a teardrop instead of making a heart. So I hope that helps. So let me get over to the machine and I'll stitch out a few while I think about teardrops instead of hearts. All right, so I am at the M7, the Janome M7, and I'm going to stitch a feather plume, much like our drawing 
or a spine I should say. I'm going to keep that spine nice and straight and I will rotate this sandwich just a little bit before we get started on our plumes so that you can see the spine. So there's our spine. It's nice and straight. I'm only rotating it so you can see what I've where I'm going because if I turn it this way you really can't see that too well. Uh, one of the reasons I'm loving the Janome M7 for free motion and especially for quilting on video these days is there is a ton of space around here. I would say it has the most visibility out of any domestic sewing machine around the needle that I have ever seen, including other brands other than Janome. So once you get to the long arms, they've got a bit more visibility here, but of course, all they can do is straight stitching or you know, simple stitching versus all the things that this machine can do. So great visibility around here. The, the, they've tapered this area so that you can see better, which really helps. So if I'm thinking about doing half hearts and I'm starting from the base of them, there is a tendency to come into that spine too straight. So I'll do that again so you can see, at least see the first one I've done. They're not bad at all. They're just too flat when they come into the spine. So if you're doing very traditional feathers, uh, it doesn't, um, it's not that bad. It's a nice shape. You just need to elongate it a little bit and taper it back in. But as long as I'm thinking half hearts, this angle tends to be too steep. So when I start thinking teardrops, I can get it a little bit longer and I can bring it in where when I hit my spine, I'm in a line visually to bring it down here. I'm not gonna bring it back down here, but it's in that groove and it just makes a much more gentle and appealing feather. So I'm just thinking teardrops and I can make them long, I can make them short, I can make them big and fat, but I'm still just bringing them in to the spine on a much more gentle angle than I would if I was thinking of half hearts. So let's just finish this out while I talk. So if you have a Janome M7 or any of their bigger, newer machines, I have started a clubhouse. It's called the Amy Quilts Clubhouse. It's through a platform called Teachable and it is entirely uh, to teach you how to get the most out of your machine, to learn the basic settings, and then to move on from there and try all the other cool features that are on these machines. And I will put the link in the notes below the video here, but it's Amy, uh, Amy Quilts at, not at, sorry, it's Amy Quilts dot teachable dot com that is a paid subscription program but it's one of the ways where I can go much more in depth with these tutorials on the machines than I can uh, on any kind of a free platform so I hope thinking teardrops versus hearts helps you with your free motion no matter what machine you're on and if you're interested in learning more about your higher end genomic machine, uh, check out the Amy Quilts Clubhouse. Thanks for watching and bye bye.